the Stream Builder widget. In this example, new data are coming inside the application. And every time we receive a new data, the value will change. We will start by creating a fake Firebase stream. This one will be called the Generate Stream. The first thing we will do inside is wait for two seconds. And then we will receive the value one. Then we will wait for once again, and receive the value two. Later in this example, I will show you what happens if we throw an error. The third one will wait for once again and receive the value three. Now that we have created a fake Firebase stream, we can put inside a center widget, the stream builder. The stream will be the generate stream that we just created. The initial data will be zero and the builder will have the context and the snapshot. We will create a condition. If the snapshot.connection state is equal to waiting, then we will return a circular progress indicator. If the snapshot has an error, then we will display a text error. And otherwise, we will say a text snapshot.data dot to string. And now if we refresh the application, you will see that this will load for two seconds, display the value one, two, and three. But now let's throw an error right after the value number two. Now I will refresh the app and you will see one and then the error. This is because we have the condition, if we have an error, then display the text error. 